faced a lot of teasing in elementary school, and um, but as I grew older and as my classmates got to know me more and got used to me, um, the teasing and bullying stopped. Um, when I was in high school, I never really was bullied at all, um, with the exception of teachers and administrators um, would bully me and harass me, but um, that got better my senior year um, when a new principal came in and he was very open and affirming and um, very positive and um, that got better. Even within the gang community, there's still a lot of people who are really close-minded to the idea of being trans. Um, the idea of it, I mean, and some people don't know how to, de to decipher what a drag queen is to a trans girl. Some trans women do drag, some don't even get up in that kind of, you know, lifestyle. So it's, it's, again, it's a work in progress, but we got ways to go before they can actually, we can actually say that we're a part of the community or in any shape or form disrespected as people, which some people tend to forget that I'm just wanting to go to the grocery store and go to work and go to the mall, hang out just like any other person, you know. The media is both a good thing and a bad thing. Um, on the one hand, it's nice to see figures like Caitlyn Jenner and Laverne Cox and um, and uh, Aiden, I can't think of his last name, um, who was on, who was uh, in the running for men's health, the men's health cover. Um, it's encouraging to see people to see other trans people in the media, but at the same time, it's also can be detrimental because people, cisgender people who aren't familiar with the community, tend to assume that transition happens overnight or that it's a quick thing um, or that everybody is like Caitlyn Jenner. And um, I think that we need to be very aware of who we are who we have representing us and make sure that it's a very accurate representation in that it's not just um, trans women of color or, I'm, not, I'm sorry, trans, uh, white trans women or white trans men um, that we include wom women of color and men of color um, and that we include people who don't necessarily fall on um, either end of the spectrum and that we include um, either androgynous or gender queer individuals who um, who um, don't conform to the binary. They really haven't impacted me too much, honestly. Um, Laverne Cox, I mean, she's, she's phenomenal. Um, lovely actress, I mean, seems to be a really sweet person. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner really doesn't, I mean, she doesn't really do much for me. I mean, she's. I, I'm happy that she's done what she's done, but I mean, she came out and all of a sudden, you know, she's had her own struggles like the rest of us girls, but she kind of was glorified as the spokesperson for all trans girls when, I mean, yeah, she is part of the group, but I mean, there's still a lot of girls that have come before her that have had to do certain things, you know, that would be frowned upon. Um, you know, illegal things just to keep, you know, food on the table, keep a house over their head and, you know, have had to do things, augmentations to their bodies that, you know, a doctor wouldn't do. So they went to underground, what they call doctors, to get things done. I mean, there's still girls, you know, that are still doing that nowadays that I mean, they're still not even there. I mean, they still see them as like individuals, but Caitlyn Jenner was this big savior for all of us and I don't think that was really fair like I don't I don't knock her for what she is but I mean she doesn't represent me personally I mean she, she's sickening for what she is but she doesn't represent me so I really she's not really mine I would like to see um more unique people more more people like Laverne Cox who are um they don't have to necessarily be people of color, but maybe have a deaf trans woman, or maybe have a um, uh, a Muslim trans woman, or um, or what have you, and 
Um, there's a lot of emphasis on trans women, and there's not as much emphasis on trans men. And I would like to see um, more discussion, more discussion in mass media on on trans men as well. Um, I think there's a lot of hesitation in the trans community, especially the activist trans community, to um, talk about trans men because men hold a lot more power than women do, and women are typically more oppressed than men are in society, and so. I think people are afraid to talk about trans men because they're afraid that if they do, then trans men and trans men's rights will overshadow trans women. But I think by doing that, we're doing them a disservice and we're doing the opposite of what we were trying to accomplish and what we were afraid of. And we're actually overshadowing them.